Hello everybody, today we're going to keep going through this um, massive box of inventory from Fash Without Trashin. So without further ado, let's get into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife Angelique. Uh, it's called The Deegans. It's linked below. Alright, so this is part two. Um, this box had, I believe, 111 total pieces of inventory. I think it cost about $600, so roughly $6. A little bit less than $6 an item. Um, and so far, it's been pretty good. Now, it has had... Um, a fair amount of men's clothing in it, um, which all have to be my size. So let's see if there's anything else that I can uh, that I can wear. All right. Up first, we have this pair of Banana Republic pants. Now, these have um, the waist and length, which is, I believe, something you only see on men's clothing. So. Those might be men's, but unfortunately, 34 and 30 is not my size. I'm a 32, 32, perfect square. All right. Now, up next we have a, well, I, I say another, um, but this is a fashion active lab. Um, it is a medium, and it's another one of these two-toned shirts. Um, now, we had two of these in the last part of the box, um, which you can see right there on that card. Um, so this is about the same. Um, it's actually the same. Um, it's just a different color. So I think there's a couple of uh, fashion active labs in here. Um, I don't know. I don't. Um, I don't look at these boxes after I'm done shooting them. I just put them in to, to do videos. So I don't know what, exactly what's in here. But it all has been shot. All right. Up next we have a Naderai um, size medium, and this is a. This is a, is this a dress or is this a poncho? I believe this is a poncho. I don't know, this, um, oh boy. That is, that is a flight suit. It's wings. Um, all joking aside, yeah, I think uh, this is just a dress that happens to have these uh, long flowing sleeves. Uh, I think I've seen a couple of them dresses like this before uh yeah i i mean they they tend to breathe really well so i don't know how that'll do um just because we haven't had a lot of dresses of this style but um it is it is warmer so maybe having something that breathes really well will sell okay up next we have a sheen large this is a pair of dress pants um only exceptional thing about these um, being that they are two buttons and if you look right here you can see they're kind of folded over and sewn so I don't know if that is it looks like that is by design because the um, the little loop for the belt actually goes all the way through and I don't think someone would fold it and then put the belt loop all the way through like that so I believe that it's intentional all right. Moving right along, we have a Ann Taylor size two um, little blazer. Now I don't believe. Yeah. Okay. This does have hooks on the inside, and the only issue is that the top hook, uh, you can see right there, it's come loose. So. I don't know if we'll try to fix that or sell it as is. It might be... No, it looks like the thread has actually come undone, so it might require just a little bit of stitching, but um, nothing that is outside of 
even my skill level, I think. Um, so definitely something we might need to fix before we list. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if, um, it's always a toss up as to whether or not you fix an item or you sell it as is, because if you fix it, you could make it worse. You could, maybe someone's not going to like the fix and would rather fix it themselves. If you don't fix it, then you have to sell it with a flaw. You have to sell it for a lower price. Um, so again, I don't know what we're going to do with that, but we shall see. Okay. Up next, we have another fashion active lab. This is a large, and this is a pair of brown pants. Now this is fashion active lab, but this is not, doesn't really feel like a, um, active wear material. This feels more like a, almost like a velvet pair of um, dress pants. So, and it's, it does have the one pocket in the back. So I don't know if this is supposed to be, oh, that is a, f is that a fake? That's, oh, that's not a fake pocket. That's sewn shut. Yeah. So this is definitely, definitely dress pants because there's no no way that there would be active wear that has sewn shut pockets um, of course those pockets you can if you get a little stitch cutter you can cut them open if you want to have the pocket or you can just leave it shut so that it's just for show all right up next we have something that is um I'm going to say this is sleepwear. This is, yeah, it says the rise, the shine. This is a V-U-O Vora, Vora one. Yeah. Is that a one or an I? I can't tell. I think it's a one. Anyway, these are a pair of, I'm going to call them pajama pants, um, sweatpants, whatever you want to call them. Um, definitely sleepwear, um, super soft. Um, so really would be something comfortable to sleep in. Um, so definitely should do, definitely should do all right. Um, although I don't really think we've done a whole lot of sleepwear, but it's not something we list as much of. So I don't think we have enough items, um, to really give a opinion on if we, I'm not, I'm not an opinion, to really give a measurement on to what, as to how sleepwear does for us. All right. Up next, we have a pair of Ralph Lauren pants. Now, these pants were interesting because um, the waist kind of comes out, then the waist comes out, the Ralph Lauren tag is on the outside, so it actually rolls in. I don't know if um, that was supposed to be stitched or not, but anyway, as you can see, they're a pair of black pants. They do have that um, felt, velvety um, feel to them, so probably, probably just a pair of dress pants. All right. Up next, we have a pair of ah, Fashion Active Lab, new with tags, Windbreaker pants. And these, um, they're new with tags, but as you can see, they have like some, um, just some like scuff marks on various parts of them. So I'm... I'm not sure what we can do to get them out. If we wash it, it's not new of tags. Uh, but if we don't wash it, it has the flaws. Um, anyway, uh, just a nice pair of windbreaker pants. Um, fashion, so perfect, perfect for running. Um, and what, what size were those? I believe they're large, extra large, extra large pants. Oh yeah, I remember these. I had to, I had to hang them up to shoot them because they didn't fit on the, uh, on the mannequins. All right. And we find another Fashion Active Lab. Now these are the same pair of pants, except for these are medium. And they do not have the um, scuff marks. So new tags, you can actually get to see what the, those pants would look like if they were in perfect condition. Just imagine them a little bit larger. Or there, you can move them just close to the camera. That works. And I think we're almost through the pants. I tend to shoot pants in batches just because um, it's easier to do that instead of having to switch back and forth between the mannequins. These are a pair of Banana Republic size 2. And I don't know um, 
these are I don't think these will be considered jeans uh, we'll just call them a pair of dress pants they're mostly cotton so they're not not quite 100% cotton so they're not, not denim um, but they do kind of have the look and feel of denim well maybe just a dressier pair of jeans And, you know, pants really haven't done the best for us lately, so um, activewear pants have, but just regular pant, dress pants and jeans have not done well for us lately. So let's get back into some stuff that should do very well for us. Um, this is a Zara um, top, and Zara is a brand that definitely does good for us. And you look at that, you can see the flower design. Um, and you know it kind of plays tricks because looking at it right here i mostly notice the background flowers but when i turn over and look on the screen i mostly notice these red this red pattern um that kind of goes over it so a little bit of a optical illusion um not not so much on the back um and you can see it you kind of can see it's a velvety material all right what is this this is a Banana Republic Heritage Extra Small. And it says extra small, but it fit perfectly fine on the mannequin. Um, so um, think what you will about Banana Republic sizes. Have to look at a sizing chart to figure out what exactly um, it's supposed to mean. Uh, now, one thing about this is it does have one little itty bitty flaw. Um, as you can see right here on this shoulder, it has a little button attached to a string doesn't really do anything but on this one um oh wait that's not flawed at all that's just okay oh we have a relatively flawless banana republic top hmm. i did not know that went back in okay oh we're not done with the pants yet. We have a pair of Athleta. Um, and now these are a short uh, pair of yoga pants uh, that are size small. And um, Athleta, Athleta, it's, you know, obviously it's a um, activewear brand and it actually does pretty well for us. So it's right up there with Lululemon. Uh, we don't get as much of it as we do Lululemon. Uh, it's, Lulu is just a little bit more um, popular, but that should do just fine. Um, we sell a lot of active wear stuff, so I'm really not worried about that selling fast. Okay, up next we have a Wilfred Free. Uh, this is a medium, and as you can see, it's a little sweater uh, short, so it would um, kind of expose the midriff, uh, but pretty nice sweater. Um, because it is a little bit shorter, it could probably be worn in a bit warmer weather, maybe not summer, but definitely, uh, definitely fall or spring. So should do should do really well once the weather starts to cool down here. Okay, up next we have a pair of a Banana Republic skirt, and um, yeah, it's an extra small. Uh, it does have the drawstrings on the side, so it does, and it has some stretch in the waist. So that small is. Or that extra small is contingent on how tight you make those and how much it stretches. Uh, but anyway, just a pretty basic skirt. Nothing really too special about it. All right. Oh boy, we have a lot of stuff in here. Oh no, we don't. I just happened to um, put this huge thing in here. Now this is a mango casual big teddy bear jacket now this does have some flaws in it uh, the flaws are not on the outside though so I don't know how that will affect it but if um, if I can find it I remember when I was shooting it yeah right here um, is that right here um, the lining on the inside is ripped in a couple places so um, not not ripped them um, it's the, along the seams so it is coming undone in there. I don't know how that'll affect it because it is on the inside. Um, I did make sure to photograph it um, when I was shooting it. 
Uh, and the other unique thing, it only has the one the one button to um, keep it closed shut. And it's not really a button, it's kind of this, uh, this ring that locks. So, yeah, it's a little, little unique there. But other than that, it is a big brown um, teddy bear coat. Sherpa? I don't know, Sherpa or teddy bear style. And it does have the blue um, around the sleeves. And that's why that took up the most room in this box. So now that that's out of the way, we only have a few items left. All right. Up next, we have another, we're back to the workout wear. This is a Lululemon top. Now, I this top looks really, really familiar. We either sold something with a very similar pattern or maybe this pattern uh, from our Lululemon consignment store box. And it does have the um, inner shelf. Now, you can't see that it doesn't have a size tag, but based on how it fit on the mannequin, I'd say it's probably a small. Um, it was just slightly tight. Although this particular style with the um, with the shelf on the inside um, does tend to, uh, they do tend to be a little bit tighter on the mannequin. Um, but it's a piece of Lululemon workout active wear, so that should do really well for us. Okay, up next we have this, um, ah, it's another Fashion Active Lab shirt. Um, this one is a medium and it looks pretty um, basic on the front, but then on the back it has this weird, like, kind of alien writing, I guess. Um, you know, that could actually be some writing and I just um, don't know what it is. Um, it's got also got something on the sleeve there. Now this does have a few spots. Um, let me see if I can find one. Um, right, right there, there's a little spot and there's a little spot right here. So just a few spots. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, we probably, now it is new with tags, but the tag is attached with a safety pin. So maybe I'll take the tag off, wash it, and um, put the tag back on, or maybe um, it'll just have to sell as is uh, with those little rust spots there. You can see a couple of them right there on the collar. Um, so I don't know what we'll do with that. I will leave that up to my wife. When she goes to list it, um, she will decide. Okay. And next we have a, another Fashion Active Lab. This is a medium. And it is a, uh, yeah, a windbreaker. Now, it is a little bit heavier than you would expect from a windbreaker, so it probably could be worn even into a bit colder months. Um, maybe if you're out for a run in the winter. Um, yeah, if you wore something underneath it, of course. Um, now, the one interesting thing about it is it does have the double zipper, so it can unzip from the bottom up and unzip from the top down. Um, so it does have some versatility in how it's worn. And like with most of the Fashion Active Lab stuff, it is new with tags. Um, oh, and it has this little um, little hole right there. Um, just a little itty bitty hole. Um, I believe the last shirt had that as well. Um, I don't know what that's for. Maybe it's so you can hang it up easier. Um, I guess you can put it on a coat hook easier. I don't know. And the last item that we have is a pair of shoes. Um, these are Spiri's, um, Spiri, yeah, Spiri top sides. Um, non-marking, non-marking. Uh, so maybe they don't leave footprints, which would be very useful if you needed to be sneaky. Um, anyway, uh, they're pretty standard pair of series, uh, Spiri's. Um, we have a couple pairs of Spiri's in our closet. Um, they've done all right, um, but most of them are not in as good of condition as these. Um, so I don't know how, I don't know how fast these will go. Um, it could take a while, could not. Um, and do I get the size on them? They are a size 9M. Really thick, uh, 
really thick um, soles in them too. All right. Oh, wait, there is one more thing. I almost forgot this. Uh, we have a Dink, uh, Dirk Bink members. And it is a pair of baby shorts. Now, every time we get a pair of baby something, we always look to see if it'll fit our babies. Um, these are a bit too small for them. Um, they're a size, I think they're a size, a nine month. Yeah, they're a nine month um, pair of shorts. Uh, our son is now 18 months, um, about to surpass his sister who is three years old in size, um, just because he's, he's on the bigger side. He's around like in the 70 percentile and Olivia is um, in the 30 percentile. So if you're a parent, you know all about those percentiles. Um, so just <laughs> really crazy. Um, don't know how that worked out, but yeah, see, <laughs> looks like, looks like CJ is going to be, going to be tall and lanky and Olivia is going to be short <laughs> and cute. <laughs> okay. With that being said, um, what do I think of this uh, second part of the box? Well, I'm liking that um, Fashion Active Lab. I think that that active wear tends to do really well for us. Um, and we'll see if this particular brand can um, become one of those brands that we sell a lot of. Uh, other than that, there's some Banana Republic um, in there, which was is a great bread and butter brand. Uh, bread and butter brand. That is a twister. Um, and there's some, there's a few other things. Um, the one thing I am a little bit disappointed about is that big coat. Um, just because it has the um, tears and lining, I don't know how that's going to affect it, um, it being sold, but we'll see. And we'll also see what's in the rest of this box in future videos. So be sure to um, hit that subscribe bell hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell and you'll be notified when the video comes out, which will probably be the next Tuesday or Thursday, uh, sometime around then. Uh, anyway, I've been Charles. I'll see you.